Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary Jawa. Jawa. Utini. You'll notice that this is not out of the box, and I normally review these things out of the box, but I wanted to open it for you to show you how I open them, because some people, even though I did it on camera, still asked about how I did it with the Darth Vader figure, and I guess I'm just gonna do it with this one. I've had this for a couple days, and it's actually been killing me that I haven't opened it yet, but I wanna do it on camera for you guys. So I have put off enjoying this figure until I can record a video just for you. So you should feel special, please. Or don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not your dad. Packaging wise, it's great. It's a reproduction of the original Jawa card. You can see that he is small, which is kind of normal. This is one of the two figures I definitely knew I absolutely had to have from the 40th anniversary figures because these have not been teased in a regular box. I'm sure at some point they will come out in a regular box and I might buy another one to have that in the numbered box, but that's not now and this is now and I want this now. There was a bit of a scare. I know that email went out saying like, hey, Hasbro shipped all the ones they made and that's it. If you didn't get it, tough luck. And I was super, super scared that I wasn't gonna get this even though I pre-ordered it on like the very first day you could, but it turns out thanks to Dorkside Toys, they got mine out that actually very same day that I saw that and I got it a couple days later and it's been sitting here and now I get to open it. So let's go ahead and do that because it's figuratively driving me crazy. See, I said that figuratively. So what I do is this and just like that, it's out. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let me show you how it's done. Let's go back in time. I take a hobby knife or some kind of very sharp knife and I cut along the edges. And I learned this from a YouTuber I watch called Finn Gamer. This is how he opens up Nintendo Amiibos. And we just slice while not trying to cut your hand very carefully along the sides and bottom. And the bottom is gonna be the hard part here, but I'm gonna cut away from myself now. So if I slip, it's not gonna hit me, but this is a very sharp knife, so it went right through. And then the bubble tray will just slide right out. And then we still have the bubble on the card very nicely, and this can actually be inserted back in whether the figure's in there or not. That's up to you. Putting this aside, we're gonna focus on this Jawa here. This is how it comes out of the package. You can see he's got this gun attached to him to a wire and that does not come off it looks like. There is a holster for it, so what I'm going to do is very carefully, I don't know if the holster is supposed to go up or down, I think it goes up actually. I don't know, what does the back look like? He's holding it, of course. I'm very worried because it's got a very thin piece of plastic holding this on, so you know what we're gonna do? We're not even going to do that. I'm just going to put this in his hand. That's one, I would say a negative. I don't like that the gun is connected to the bandolier. I don't like that. I like being able to have some options here. I feel like having it connected takes away that option. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, he's 20 bucks and he's small. So that automatically makes me think, Ugh. I paid the same amount for a six inch figure and got like four inches. How do I feel about this? I think it's natural to feel like you got stiffed a little bit on the amount you paid versus what you get. He does come with two accessories. He's got this hand cannon blunderbuss thing and he's got what he, I'm assuming is his ion blaster which is what he uses to knock R2-D2 out and over. He's got a lot of detail. It's a hard plastic robe. The robe is matted much like the Kylo Ren robe. It has like a very nice kind of molding to it that make it look sort of worn and tattered while being hard plastic. The face is black bandaged with eyes, which is good because it's always kind of ambiguous as to what a Jawa's face looks like. It's hard to tell in the movie. The uh, the legs are individual, which is nice. Another step up from the Power of the Force where they just did solid chunks down here and there's actual legs underneath here. But I don't know how much posability you're really gonna get. I feel weird looking up a Jawa's skirt. I feel like right here is a little nubbin like it should plug in but there's nothing to plug it into it definitely looks like it should be in that holster one thing i do like is that they've sculpted the cape so where his foot comes off the bottom of it so it just kind of looks like his cape's draped over his foot naturally i do i like that it means that you kind of hindered on what you could do as far as posability down there because if you don't have it there the cape just kind of looks like it's got a weird hole in it let's take a look at his articulation real quick head moves side to side pretty good forward that much but not back because of the hood the arm moves 
goes out this far and can go all the way around. There is a single jointed elbow that does not move very far up and his tiny hands do swivel around and are on a very loose hinge. There is a diaphragm joint and the rest of the articulation is hidden under this hard plastic skirt that you cannot really access. The legs might as well not have any articulation under there. With that being his widest stance with both his feet flat on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of what I expected. He, he has articulation. His head, the hood is on a separate piece. Oh, I wonder if you could take this off. Hold on, let me see. Nope, it's glued onto the front, I think. His head and arms move fine. He has a little bit of waist rotation. He has leg rotation, but the hard plastic sculpt on his robe hinders it, which is, you know, kind of expected, I guess. You have that classic debate over what's better, hard sculpted plastic or soft goods. I think in this instance, maybe soft goods would have been a little better on the bottom, but I don't know how much I care really about posing the bottom half of him. He is just going to stand on my shelf and he's just gonna stand there. I'm not gonna put him in his cool action poses. I'll, I guess the option to do that would have been nice. I'm gonna give this guy a three and a half out of five. He's not terrible. He is a good effort, but there are a couple things like this attached gun, not knowing exactly how it goes in that holster, lack of posability. It's not winning me over, really. It's it's fine. It's, it's I'm glad that I own it. It's going to look good on my shelf, but if you were like a picker and chooser, unless you just really like Jawas, this is going to be a super easy pass for you. That's that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought of it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.